Okay, we've got this disassembled uh, Ibanez body. I was going to uh, high speed buff and prep it for high speed buffing, and there are just way too many uh, fairly large dings in the body. And what I've had happen to me in the past is uh, sometimes uh, I get flakes of the finish in my buffing wheels. And sometimes it'll rip some of the, you know, it'll catch and kind of rip some more of the finish off. So what I'm opting to do at this point is I'm just going to detail this the best I can by hand and start to reassemble it. So, so that we don't add any more scratches, not that it's a big deal on this guitar, we're going to use some uh, polish, give some polish again. Again, I, I've stated this in the past, use this fairly sparingly. We had a sticker on here that's, well, kind of gross. So we're just going to work that area a lot more. Make sure we get all that glue off of there. Keep that nice wet area on the rag going. Get that all off of there. And we're just going to work where the pickups were, work around all the cavities. Just try and make it a little bit pretty. You can see already some of the glue is coming up, uh, some of the dirt coming off the body. Um, if this wouldn't have had so many dings, I would have like to see what it would have looked like all high speed buffed. I did talk to the owner of the guitar, told him that I was not going to uh, high speed buff it. He just wants it back in working condition. He's getting real excited to get this thing back. Actually cleaned up pretty good. Let's get the back right away and then we'll go around the edge. Don't have to worry so much about the cavities. However, I am going to clean around the tremolo a little bit, the trem area. It looked pretty dirty. Drag around a little bit. Get that uh, polish to uh, evaporate a little. And that looks pretty good also. I want to just sort of pick this up a little bit and get all this area. Inside the horn there. Get around where that uh, jack is also. Actually cleaned up pretty good. I'm surprised. I thought this was going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more of a chore. I do want to get kind of in here and maybe into the pickup areas too, and just try to, I don't know, get it as clean as I can. See, they didn't, it didn't buff it out a little bit. I just I'm trying to get the best result once it's all put back together. I think I stated it in another video uh, for detailing. If uh, if you got the know-how to disassemble a guitar, or partially disassemble a guitar, you can get a really killer looking guitar just by removing a pickup and cleaning around it. And your detail job will really, really stand out. So, now let's just I'll show you a quick little look at this. Uh, I'm not sure how long that took. It didn't take us too long. But it's still got a shine. I mean, it's got some dings and it's uh, definitely seen some wear and tear. Show you the back real quick. Um, you know, for a good little beater guitar, uh, this shows some very good promise right now. Uh, beforehand, we took off all the hardware. I just want to see... Uh, the, the strap buttons look pretty good, so we'll just wipe them off real quick, put those back on. Of course you're working with a screw into wood. Be very careful that you hit the threads good so that it doesn't strip out. Uh, if it does strip out, um, I don't know, maybe in another video I can show you how to plug those holes. Usually you just take a little bit of sawdust, 
and some crazy glue and pack that hole all full and then just redrill it. But we don't have to do that on this guitar. Get these strap buttons back on. Just snug that up real good. And there we have it. Our project, Ibanez, our first case study, is cleaned up, ready to go.